into a fight where he just came off of a health issue and losing all that weight, you would think that he would have a psychological disadvantage. Not the guy who's been in the ring, not the guy who's been active, not the guy who's been putting dudes on their ass. You would think he would have confidence, exude confidence. You see how your boy see me to exude? I be exuding. You see what I'm saying? We're about to get paid, Playboy. We're about to get paid tonight. What's poppin' fight, world? You rockin' with your boy, man. I'm so excited, man. The fight tonight, my boy Tyson and Fury about to put hands and feet on your boy Sloppy Wilder, man. Listen, my boy Tyson and Fury about to make history, man. He about to make history, man. And it's not because he's going in the ring against the WBC champion of the United States of America. We don't even know that cocksuck is because Tyson Fury is lineal, man. He's lineal. You see what I'm saying? He's the man who beat the man. And he about to come and take the WBC belt and take it back to the UK where it belongs. People, there's so much money to be made. There's so much money to be made. And what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to break down my bets. I'm going to break down, give you the ultimate prediction on how this fight is going to be play out. But before we talk about that, man, we got three grand right here. We got three grand. We got nine guys that put their money on the wall with CBT, man. We got $1,700 left for you guys who want to bet. You understand what I'm saying? It's time for you guys to put your, your hands in the cookie jar. You guys need to put some money on the board and stop letting these fighters get all the money while you sitting home looking sick and looking terrible. You see what I'm saying? Your boy CBT is giving you an opportunity to put some money on the board and collect. Go get you some Jordans, huh? Go get you some glasses, huh? Go get you some shoes. You see what I'm saying? I'm so hyped. Let me calm down. Let me calm down, people, man. Tyson Fury about to do his thing. Did you see how he looked in the way in, man? Real strong, bulky. He ready to go, man. He ready to do his thing. He ready to knock this cocksucker out, man. Listen, people. Oh, it is. Have you ever Are you listening? <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna give it to you like I'm giving it to you, man. Subscribe to the channel. You see what I'm saying? People, you rock it with your boys. So at the end of the day, put the dollar signs in the comment section if you want that work. You got five hours left to get in the comment section so you can make an exchange with your boy CBT. But at the end of the day, man, I need you to understand something, man. I'm picking my boy Tyson Fury by knockout ninth round. I've been having a dream, man. <laughs> I've been having a dream, man. You think what I'm saying? It felt kind of funny because you think it felt kind of itchy. You see me? Because I'm dreaming about a man, Tyson Fury, about 6'9". You see what I'm saying in my dream moving around, but I see him knocking him down in the ninth round You see what I'm saying? And then I see a 12 round decision not my mind tell me right and then I go okay Well Deontay Wilder does have the equalizer, so I gotta hedge the bet. <laughs> I gotta hedge the bet So that's my bets with the casinos people Listen to what I'm saying to you. If you've never listened to CBT before, here's your chance to take the opportunity that I'm giving it to you. You see what I'm saying? Because no other channel going to do this like I'm doing it. You see me? But at the end of the day, let's talk about the fight, man. I'm so hyped, man. Five hours left, man. You know how much money your boy CBT? I can go buy a new car. I can go buy a jet. I can do some things. You see what I'm saying? I can go over to Thailand, meet up with your boy, Dante's Boxing Nation, and put some hands and feet. You see what I'm saying? On them Thailand chicks. Listen, man. I need you guys to understand something, man. I understand that, you know, you guys here from CBT, Deontay Wilder trash. Deontay Wilder this. But I'm going to give Deontay Wilder some tips on how he can defeat your boy, Tyson Fury, because this is my job. Right? My job is to do that as YouTube. That's the best YouTube on YouTube. Let me talk about the fight. I've been talking too long, man. I've been talking and dreaming about money too long, man. These dudes don't know nothing about these dudes don't know nothing about money, man. I'm all stuttering in the things of this nation. Listen, man, let's talk about it. Look, I need you guys to realize that Tyson Fury that fought your boy Deontay Wilder in the first fight is no longer around. This is a new, improved, strong, healthy Tyson Fury. That's the one. That's a big deal. You know, Tyson Fury came there with mental health issues, coming off of, you know, 500,000 pounds. You see what I'm saying? Came in there sloppy, but he came in there quick. He came in there and he showed the jab. He moved around the ring. That wasn't even 100%. Now we got a Tyson Fury that's 100%. That's going to give it his all. That is going to come with a game plan that's different than the first. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you guys, you know, got to look at... The, 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 the ways that Tyson Fury could win this fight. And then look at the ways that your boy Deontay Wilder could win this fight. And then you weigh them together and you say, well, there's so many ways that Tyson Fury can win. He can shoot from the back foot, right? Use his distance, use his range, you see what I'm saying? And pot shot his way to victory. You understand what I'm talking about? He can stand tall and walk back the big man and your boy Deontay Wilder because Deontay Wilder don't move his head. He got foot, he got cement on his foot, you see what I'm saying? So when you got a double jab coming at you, you see what I'm saying? You don't know when to move side to side and you just 
just gonna clinch up. You go to the body, come back up top. That's what my boy Deion, my boy Tyson Fury, gonna knock this boy out, man. He already know the game plan. He already know what he did in the first fight. All he gotta do is step it up a little bit. <laughs> step it up a little bit, man. But let me tell you. Right, cause I'm envisioning this fight, right? I'm envisioning this fight, and then I'm sitting back and I'm saying, okay, his last fight, Tyson Fury got cut. What did he do, right? He said, okay, look, man, this guy cut me. I'm leaking. You see what I'm saying? I got to win this fight because I got the biggest fight of my life against Deontay Wilder. Everybody's counting on me. ESPN hit me with the bag. I got to show and prove. You see what I'm saying? I'm in the States. And what he did was so beautiful. That lets me know he's a ring master. He got in the inside and said, what's shaking? What's good? Slipping and moving. Getting the inside. Go to the body. Come back up top. Put that big body. Put that big body on that cocksucker, right? Lean on him. Lean on him and say, what's good? What you feel like? And then he was hitting him. Hitting him with short punches and things of this nature because he knew. He could have outboxed from the outside, but with that cut, he gave the opposition, his last opponent, the opportunity to throw a jab or two, throw a rinky dinky hook there, here or there, and land on that eye. But when you're close up, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> when you're close up, it's difficult for the guy to land precisely on the cut or hit you in general. You understand what I'm talking about? Put that big body. So that showed me that he got the mastermind. He understands what to do when he up against up when he's up against a challenge, right? When he's up against danger, right? That's what you need in the champion. You see what I'm saying? He's been the war and he's about to take the war to Deontay Wilder. That's why he's the best, man. So not only will he be able to shoot the jab and keep the distance, he will be able to get in the inside because he's good in the inside. He showed me that he's good in the inside against a lower quality fighter but nevertheless he did what he had to do he dug deep so you can imagine him getting in the ring with a guy like Deontay Wilder that don't know how to fight from the inside he can't fight from the inside so, so Tyson Fury got so many options right he can stay from distance he can come up close you did what I'm talking about shoot the jab double and triple and keep circling the ring now you look at his body, look at his strength. He looks really good in the weighing, man. Strong, right? Tall, right? And he looks like he got more power, right? Now you can't make or generate power, you know, within months, but you damn sure can put some stink on that thing. <laughs> you can put some stink on that thing, you see what I'm saying? And he gonna hurt your boy, Deontay Wilder. He gonna wild them people. You gotta look at Deontay Wilder's defensive mechanisms, right? What do he do? He, he comes up in the clinch in the high guard when he's being uh, peppered with jabs. When he got hurt, he holds his high guard up because I think that's the best thing to do, right, people? I mean, you want to hold your high guard up, cover your temple, cover your chin, cover your face, and then sit there and say, okay, let me recover. And my boy takes the fairly going step to the side, hit to the body. Step to the side, hit to the body. You see what I'm saying? Pepper, pepper, step to the body. You see what I'm talking about? People, this fight is all good, all wrong for Deontay and all right for my boy Tyson Fury, man. You see me? Now, at the end of the day, people, do you want to see an inside fight or outside fight? Because he can give you both. You think what I'm talking about? Now, people talk about, you know, do Tyson Fury have a chance? Well, I'll tell you this, he got up twice, right? And, 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 you know, at the end of the day, when we look at Deontay Wilder, everybody, not everybody, but the majority of good, decent fighters that he has faced, they got up. You know, Brazil even got up, right? So it's not like Deontay Wilder got one hit a quitter, even Ortiz got up. You see what I'm saying? In that fight, he should have went more rounds because he got up by the eighth. He was looking dizzy. He was looking wobbly. That's what happens when you get affected, when you get a hit with a hard shot. But he was getting up. You see what I'm saying? Referee called it off. You see what I'm talking about? Imagine that if Ortiz was uh, Tyson Ferry, that he got that count where he got up at nine and a half. Well, Ortiz was getting up at seven and a half. Imagine how that fight would have went if you would have recovered. It's like my boy Tyson Berry did. Now, when Tyson Berry got up in the 12th round, he went to work, people. You thought you had him down, but he got back up and he put those fists to action. You see what I'm saying? And end up winning that round as far as the rest of that round. You think what I'm saying? So you couldn't have called it an 8 10. You had to call it a 9 9. You see what I'm saying? So Tyson Berry got the people, the fans on his side. He's bringing the people from the UK that's going to give him the energy to put your boy on his ass, people. You see me? Now, I hope you understood it in a dramatic way that I'm giving it to you. But this is not a game because I don't put my money on the wall. I don't put my money on the wall. I'm not 100% sure I told you dudes that I get in the ring for barbershop conversations, two grand on the table, a thousand dollars on the side that I knock him out. I'm, I'm playing? I, I'm just going to play around with you. Three thousand dollars. I'm just going to play around. 
Who plays around with three grand? I'm poor. I'm not playing around. I know what I'm going to do with that dude. I know how I'm moving, son. I got a camera over here and my dude is over here. So if y'all see me moving and shaking, you dig what I'm saying? I got other things that I'm streaming at the same time. And that's why you need to come to this channel if you're not paying for this fight. Because you can watch it with your boy CBT because we go live. You see what I'm saying? We're going to give you blow-by-blow -blow coverage of the whole card. So when we look at Deontay Sloppy, look at the guy, right? And we don't need to talk about his resume. Just look at the guy, right? What can he do in the ring, right? All he knows how to do is get wild and get salacious and get crazy and look for the big right hand. People call it patience. I call it not knowing what to do, right? And then he measures his opponent up. It's like a simple thing. You understand me? It takes no skill. That's what I'm saying. It takes no skill to do what he do. Measure your guy up after getting peppered and touched up. You see what I'm saying? Throw a one, two. You see what I'm saying? And when, if you land, you land. If you don't, you back up like you do. You see what I'm saying? And that's the lucky punch that I call it. I call it lucky, man. I, he's not precise or nothing. The dude talked about it broke his hand or broke his elbow. Which one was it? Huh? And you know what I'm saying? That cop took a uh, counter punch box and he did a whole video on how Tyson, he, Deontay said he broke his hand. Video and audio. He proved it. And then he said his elbow was hurt. Which one was it? Your hand or your elbow? He was fronting. You see what I'm saying? He was fronting. You see what I'm talking about? Every time that he doesn't look good, he makes excuses. And my point is this, as far as this thing, because we got to go we get some liquor. You know what I mean? And um, listen, man. We look at Deontay Wilder, and when he doesn't look as good, you know, what do we say? Injury. I didn't have a good camp. I kept it a secret, I loaded up on my shots as far as with Tyson Ferry, you know, I was looking for the haymaker, I wasn't focused because I wanted to really touch on them, you see what I'm saying, all that, it's all good. But that just tells you, the fan, that under pressure, Deontay Sloppy don't know how to perform, that's what that means. You see what I'm saying? You take a guy being, you know, coming off of a, coming into a fight where he just came off of a health issue and losing all that weight. You would think that he would have the psychological disadvantage. Not the guy who's been in the ring. Not the guy who's been active. Not the guy who's been putting dudes on their ass. You would think he would have confidence, exude confidence. You see how your boy said we take exude? I get exuding. You see what I'm saying? That's how Deontay should have came and approached the fight. But instead, he said, I, I was floating up, man. I was looking and shaking and trying to find something, man. But he couldn't find a target because my boy was moving and shaking. He was moving and shaking. And that's how this fight is going to play out. Same thing. Nothing changes with that guy, Deontay Sloppy. Now, before I go... Right, put your money on the wall, dollar signs in the comment section, but I will say this. Deontay Wilder fans, if I was a fan of Deontay Wilder, if I was in this corner, this is what I would tell him to do. Look, you cannot come in this fight. This is detrimental. This is, this is it's going to change the history of the books. You see what I'm saying? You got to come into this fight, and you got to bring the action to Tyson Ferry. You have to be front foot dominant. You have to use feints. You have to use your, dish, your, your jab as a range finder. You ain't even got to throw it out there because you may be scared. You may get counted, right? So you can range finder. Nothing, nothing range finder. <laughs> What's good with you? Give him a faint. Give him a faint. Give him a faint. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? You have to be very active. You got to make your guy, your opponent, Tyson Fury, think twice before doing his jab, before doubling his jab, before going to your body. So you use your face. You be front foot dominant. And the facts of the matter is this. Right? The fact of the matter is this. If Tyson Fury don't have the power that y'all say he don't have, Deontay Wilder should just walk him down. What's good? What's good? Bing. What's good? Bing. You say bing. You see what I'm saying? Simple. Because if, if Tyson Fury ain't got no power, walk right through it then. Walk right through it then. Like I said, Deontay Wilder remind me of your boy the way Bully Spence talking about he got the power, talking about he a killer, talking about he a savage when he get in the ring with Mikey Garcia, a 130-pounder, moving up to 147 for the first time and you outbox him. You use your distance and your range to win the fight, 12 rounds, but y'all just should have my boy Anthony Joshua for using his range and using his powerful hook, backing down the little Luis and moving side to side, getting the 12 round victory and taking the belts. You see what I'm saying? But you guys got to understand something. The way Bully Spence didn't knock out Mikey Garcia because he was nervous of getting countered and getting hurt and embarrassed. And that's the same thing with your boy, Deontay Wilder. But if my boy, Tyson Ferry, don't have that power, 
walk them down, use feints, use the jab as a range finder, close the gap, cut the ring off, force Fury to fight. You out with your boy CBT. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you gonna do it like that? Yeah. 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 Yeah.